Hey pals, Rocket here, and I'm going to go over how to very carefully get your bike on and off the trainer. It also works for taking your rear wheel on and off the bike, whether that's transitioning from trainer to outdoor riding, or if you get a flat and have to put a tube in. First thing you're going to do is stand on the non-drive train side of your bike. So that's if you're facing forward, the left, okay? So I'm on the left side of the bike. Second thing you wanna do is go ahead and turn around, face away from the handlebars, okay? Then you're gonna take your left hand, and these two fingers are important, your middle finger and your thumb, okay? Your middle finger is gonna be pressing down while your thumb presses up, okay? So it's gonna be a sideways, and this is gonna be pressing down, and this is gonna be pulling up, okay? So just to show our points of contact here, we're gonna have the middle finger far away from this point of rotation. So the middle finger is gonna be right here and the thumb's gonna be here, okay? Before we go ahead and move our derailleur and take everything off, what we wanna do is put our bike in the hardest gear, okay? So we're moving it that chain as far away from that rear wheel as possible. And what that's going to do is give us more room to work. So we're just getting into the hardest gear right there. Next thing we're gonna do is take your Allen key. And again, we're standing on the left side of the bike facing backwards. We're gonna go ahead and put that in and turn. Okay, so we're gonna turn, the, the part closest to you is going down, okay? Down, not up, down. The part closest to you is going down. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and undo that way. So we got it all the way up. I like to keep this on my person. So it can be here, here. I don't like to have it on the ground because if I move around, it might be hard to reach. I don't have very long arms. So whenever I can, I like to keep these things on me, okay? The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hand and we're gonna be, again, facing away from the handlebars on the left side of the bike. The, th the middle finger is gonna push here, see that? And then the thumb is gonna go here and it's gonna be pulling up, okay? So we're getting this nice, if you wanna, whoops, if you wanna come around, See, it's very easy. <laughs> so middle finger is going here, thumb is going here. And it's just a rotational movement around this point. So we're rotating it around and then all we do is lift up and then we can let the derailleur go back and we're all set, okay? Same thing when we're putting the bike on, okay? We're standing on the left side of the bike, facing backwards. I like to take the wheel and have it on my right leg here, okay? So we have the wheel on the right leg, that way it's ready to go. Take the hand, again, middle finger pushing down, okay? I'm actually holding, I'm not sure if you can see, the saddle is resting on my left mid back, okay? So we take the derailleur, push down here, again, holding here with the thumb, and then we can just take this wheel and put it in between the chain there. See the chain? We want the wheel in between and we can just wrap it around and let it come down. Take a look as we're coming down on the bike's left side. We wanna go right in between those calipers and I'm controlling with my left hand the un coiling of this derailleur, okay? So we're right in the middle. Of course, your front wheel is gonna jiggle around a little bit. So you can just pop it in then. And then look, your stuff is right here. It's not over there where we started. So you go ahead, put that back in, take your Allen key and now find the right size. And now the side closer to you is coming up. Okay, it's coming up just like that. Okay. Once you got it snugged up, we definitely don't want to start off in that hard gear. So we're going to take our front shifter on the right, move it closer to the wheel, 
And now we are ready to take off and start having some more fun.